Hey guys, this is Steve with Savant PCs and I have been wanting to do this video review for a while. I have searched the internet so many different times and went to so many different machinist forums and I could not, for the life of me, find the best way to thread tap acrylic. So I'm going to show you what I found out. I actually found this by chance. I was looking around at the website McMaster.com and I came across a certain type of thread tap. That is right here it's called a gun tap it's made for soft metals and plastics the only time I've ever seen a tap say it's made for plastics a lot of the forms will mislead you they'll tell you to get something that's made for aluminum that looks something like this it's a spiral tap absolute garbage for acrylic and it would always gunk up and some people were even suggesting that you use a lubricant like dish soap the only problem is that starts to cause these things to rust and it was playing hell with my thread tapper. So let me show you with this flame polished piece of acrylic just so you could see how well this works compared to another tap that's like a standard um, hobbyist tap. Okay so here's the demonstration. Here you have your standard four flute thread tap. This is M4 and this is what most people are using Thread tap anything, it's a hobbyist grade thread tap or standard thread tap, however you want to look at it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it does when I try to thread tap this hole that's half inch cast acry acrylic. Excuse me. I'm not going to do a pause and a reverse because I don't have to with the other thread tap and I'm going to show you what it does. Mind you, when I was using these things before I found the gun tap, the really nice one that I like. I was backing it out, but it, it was still causing so many problems. So one of the things machinists will tell you, when you're working with acrylic versus metal, acrylic likes to compress before it chips off. So when you're doing something like thread tapping a hole like this, it's going to cause problems. You see, already, it looks like it's thread just fine. But on the bottom, that's pure cylinder. There's no thread there. So watch what happens when I back it out. It's already showing significant resistance right about there. And look at that. Look at all that gunk. Now I'm not gonna touch it because right now this is hot. Burn your finger hot. Now look at the, uh, look at the thread up close. That looks disgusting. That's pretty much a cylinder with thread lines in it, but that is not threaded. Look at that. Can you even see threads in it? Not at all. It's garbage. So when you're trying to thread tap acrylic on a regular basis, you need something that's going to do the job. So let me switch this out now that it's had a second to cool off. But look at this. I mean, some of these pieces are like welded in there. It's gross. So let me switch it out. And I'll show you these. So this, you'll notice what it looks like. This is a gun tap. As you spin it, it's actually twisted in the opposite direction of where you're actually threading. The reason being is these are designed to push the chips downwards. It's meant to have the chips escape through the hole on the bottom while you're thread tapping. One of the benefits to this with acrylic is because the acrylic compresses, you're not going to have those chips compress into the little channels that are in between the flutes and cause it to ruin your threads. So here's a demonstration. And again, the main reason that I'm even making this video is because I had scoured the internet and not a single person was talking about thread tapping acrylic like this. Now if they are, and you're one of them, I apologize. I was not fortunate enough to come across your information. See, so here we go. This is what it looks like when you have the right materials. And this is what I call a life-changing tool. So without stopping and going at a relatively quick speed, I'm not even feeling resistance. In fact, the first time I tried using one of these, I have freaked out because I thought I might have drilled the holes a little bit too big because it just went so well. Zero resistance going fast in and out, not having to stop in reverse direction to break off the chips, and look what happened. All the threads escaped through the channel in the uh, thread tap, 
You might have been able to see it. But look at that. Absolutely perfect threads and repeatable every time. First time I used this, the only time I ever had a problem with it is when I was going as fast as I possibly could. Way too fast. But even so, it was still usable at the end of the day. So look at that. Good threads versus there. Look at that. That's garbage. And look, you can still see it through the side. Side-by-side -side comparison. So, again, I mean, mind you, when you have a standard tap, like the one shown, you're supposed to stop, back it out. But when you're doing it with acrylic, you can't just stop, back out a little bit of a quarter turn, even half or full turn, because although it will break the chips off, they get compressed in these little channels. And when they're compressed in those channels, they become thicker than the threading itself. So that's why you see, oh jeez, wow, bloopers much? That's why you see the threads are actually being compressed out and they're no longer usable. So anyway, I just wanted to share that because I searched and searched, couldn't find it. So when I finally found it, it was like, uh, it's like I said, it's a life-changing tool. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.